Hey friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Shadavia and this is Oshi Budgets where I talk about all things money, budgeting, and savings related. So if any of that is content you're into, do me a favor and give today's video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel, but don't forget your notification bell so you never miss the next time I post. By the title of today's video, you can see I am doing my first bill exchange ever. So today I'm going to be cash unstuffing my savings challenges for 2023. And you're probably wondering like why? So as many of you know, I do have a goal or a plan to save $10,000 in 2023 to put it towards a future home down payment. Now this is completely separate from my other savings goal, um, but it is something that I'm using savings challenges for just to be able to stay motivated and keep track on, of my progress along the way. So I've really been thinking about doing this bill exchange for some time now, and I'm finally excited to just unstuff all the cash that I have in my savings challenge binder and take that cash back to the bank and start earning interest rather um, sooner rather than later. So if you guys want to see me do my first bill exchange ever and hopefully not ruin it too badly, then just keep watching today's video. So as I mentioned, um, we are gonna be doing a bill exchange where I will be cash unstuffing my savings challenges for April, 2023 and swapping it out for some prop cash in the meantime. So what my plan is, is um, maybe at the end of each month, instead of waiting till I complete the savings challenges, maybe at the end of each month, I'll just go ahead and do a bill exchange or a prop swap or a bill condensing, whatever you wanna call it, so I can start earning interest on the money sooner rather than later. So let me go ahead and get my savings challenge binder open and then we can kind of start doing um, today's bill exchange. Now, um, again, this is my savings challenge binder. And so I do have a few savings challenges that I am going to be doing bill exchange for today. So the first challenge I have is dollar days. And I started this challenge back in January and I haven't quite finished it yet. I do have a plan to actually finish this savings challenge by the end of this month. But since I want to go ahead and put this cash back into the bank, I'm going to go ahead and start swapping it out. And then once I get, um, once I actually finish the challenge and I have any more real cash and I'll take that back to the bank as well. So for dollar days, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42. So 42 dollars that I need to take um, from prop cash. I'm gonna sit that over to the side. And so even though this is my dollar days savings challenge, I want to go ahead and condense it um, as much as possible as well. So to do that, I'm just gonna take two 20s and two $1 uh, or $2 from my prop cash, and then I'm just gonna replace it to my dollar days. So, and I think dollar days has, a, well, I know dollar days has a savings goal of $60. So once I get paid um, later this week, then I'll go ahead and make it my priority to finish that savings challenge. Now, the next uh, savings challenge that I'm gonna go ahead and do a bill exchange for is my off the charts one. This one, I have quite a bit in here. So let's go ahead and count to see how much we're gonna be uh, cash swapping or bill exchanging. Um, and it's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100, 105, 
6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37. So 137. So let me go ahead and add that to my dollar days. And like I said, we're just going to be trying to swap it out for as uh, the... I guess what is it the least amount of bills as possible so that's 130 35 and then we're gonna just do 36 37 so 137 back to off the charts and prop and let me go ahead and bring over my calendar calculator as well you guys um so let's see how much we're going to be taking back to the bank okay so we have 42 from dollar days plus 137 so so far 179 then let's move on to the self-care savings challenge and this one we have a total of not a lot we just started this one so we have 20 40 45 so 45 that we need to swap out so i'm going to take two 20s and a uh -oh, two 20s and a five as well and that's going to go ahead and take care of the 45 for self-care and then um, just as before, I'm just going to add it to my my real cash that I'm going to be taking back to the bank or my real bills that I'm going to be taking back to the bank. So get the, if I can get it back in there. Alrighty, so that's 45. Let me go ahead and try to somewhat keep this organized. All right, so we had 179, and then we're going to add that 45 from Self-Care Savings Challenge. Great, in my calculator. Okay, 179 plus 45, so $224. And then um, the next Savings Challenge we're going to unstuff for is the Financially Free one. This one we have 10, 20, 30, 40. So $40 from this Savings Challenge, and then... Again, just going to swap it out for the two uh, 20s as well. And then, like I said, you guys, once I actually finish these savings challenges, I'm trying to take the cash back to the bank as soon as possible so that I can start earning interest on it sooner um, rather than later. And that's why I actually decided to go ahead and do today's bill exchange. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, because I wanted, I realized that I'm holding quite a bit in my savings challenges and i just would rather be earning money on that so this is 20 40 what is this you guys 40 50 60 oh i took this out of this file oh my gosh i'm so slow <laughs> um okay so that's a financially free one and then the last uh challenge i have is a secure the bag one this is a big one you guys this one has a savings goal of 3500 and so um, each bag is like $100, but if you want to break it down, you could do $50 or um, $25. It's however you prefer to complete your savings challenges. Like I said, I do have a big goal to save $10,000 this year. So I am able to uh, cash stuff a little bit more. But today from Secure the Bag Savings Challenge, we're going to be exchanging 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700. So 700 uh, that we're gonna add to the 224. Oh my gosh, you guys, I need a new battery for my calculator. Let me see. Um, I think, okay, let's just put one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So 700, um, we did a prop, well, a bill exchange or cash swap for the prop cash. And then let's put that back in there. So in total, you guys, we are going to be taking back, I believe that was actually 924. My calculator died. Oh, there it is. Okay, so 224 plus 700. 
which is in fact $924 that we're taking back to the bank. Um, as you guys can see, this is actual real cash. I think some of you guys earlier were concerned that if I didn't have the real cash, then do I really have it? And the answer is yes, but I, again, want to start earning as much money as possible on the interest that's going to be in my high yield savings account. So that's why I'm going to be doing these bill exchanges. So let me know if you guys enjoyed this bill exchange and want to see more of these bill exchanges or cash unstuffings in the future. As always, if you enjoyed today's video, please, please, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and never forget that notification bell, you guys. That's how you get notified every single time I post. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.